Hello everyone, welcome to CSOP Space. Today we are going to dive into the integrating hang pair with S.NET Core Web API. So, before uh, we get started, let's take a uh, quick look uh, to we will cover it to this video. Uh, firstly, we cover uh, the introduction to hang pair, setting up a new S.NET Core Web API project and configuring hang pair in S.NET Core and creating uh, background jobs, then monitoring and dashboards for that jobs. So uh, let's jump. So uh, first of all, uh, Hang Pair is a powerful background job processing library that uh, lets you run tasks asynchronously with, uh, without blocking your main thread. This is ideal for tasks like sending emails, processing data, running scheduled jobs. So uh, let's start. So we will go into our Visual Studio and here I already create one uh, blank project for sv.net core web api uh, with .net core 7 so this is the uh, default file that is created while we choosing the sv.net core web api so first of all uh, we need to uh, add nuget packages for hang pair uh, here uh, i will use a hang pair uh, that is stored data into the memory storage uh, so this contains different types like uh, Hangpair is also using uh, SQL Server for storing the jobs. So in this demo, I am using a memory storage for that. So here we are uh, searching a Hangpair. Then install this package, this latest version. Click to install. Then a zip. Now uh, this showing a readme text that containing a SQL Server uh, for uh, connection string. Because but in this example, I am using a memory storage so don't need to install this and this package installed so this will add it into this package now I am adding this memory storage so, so click to install to this and pair memory storage now this package is also added here so now in next step uh, we open this program.cs file and here, uh, first of all, I uh, need to add two more namespaces uh, to use hang pair. So it's uh, using using hang pair, and then it's using hang pair dot hang pair dot memory storage. And now. Now I am adding a, a here. Uh, it's a builder dot services dot um, add hang pair. So here we add packages for that. Add hang pair, and here uh, this container different like uh, this container configurations. Or if you want to use a, a memory storage or a SQL. So if you want to install, then they uh, need to provide a SQL connection string. But here I am using uh, the storage, uh, memory storage. So x dot use memory storage. And now uh, we run the, uh, we use this uh, server for running the hang pair. Uh, so, so we will add this dot services dot add hang pair server. And now, now uh, we had a dashboard for that. So I am using that uh, app dot use hang pair dashboard. So here uh, we will provide a hang pair URL. Like I am using this hang pair. No, the changes has been done for uh, uh, this program dot cs file. Now in next step, uh, I'm using uh, creating one uh, folder for creating a uh, services for that. So I'm adding one folder like a service. And here I am adding one more interface file dot. So it's a uh, job service 
and then click on add so in uh, in hang we use a uh, different types of uh, jobs we are using so first of all like i'm here heading uh, fire and forget means we add the job and then this will continuously continue working so it's a uh, and forget and then second we demonstrate this uh, recurring job recurring job and then third one this recurring job that will uh, execute the job at a certain uh, time interval so it's using a Chrome Expresses for that now third one is a delayed job so this will execute a job after some time that uh, time is provided by the user and then now wait continuation job this uh, this will uh, create a job after completion of uh, another job so it's a continuation job now uh, we create the method into that interface now I am adding a class to inherit that uh, interface so it's a uh, uh, job service you click on head now we inherit uh, that i job service and it's create a method for all the uh, methods that we define into that interface so for demonstration i just adding a console dot write, uh, write line message so in your actual project you can use your uh, code here like uh, sending a uh, email or like reading in file or uploading a data or something else so simply i add a console message here so it's a uh, console dot right line and then uh, it's like uh, hello from hello from continuation job and then you are writing console dot right line and here uh, hello from hello from tdd so and now this this verb fire and forget so here from fire fire and forget job and then here this for recurring job uh, recurring job now uh, in next step we will implement this method into this program.cs for creating an object so it's a uh, dot services dot and singleton and then it's a job service and then it's a job service so we will implement that uh, i job service now uh, i am getting a uh, one more control for testing and triggering these jobs so i am using this api empty controller and then click on it then here i'm adding the name it's job test job test and click on add now i'm creating a constructor for ejecting that uh, interfaces public so here uh, we call that uh, i job service and then job service here we firstly take a object private private read only private read only 
job service and then name it uh, read only read only and then here we taking i background job client for implementing a background job services and now now here i am taking i background job client and then background job client linkedin it's a background job client then we provide the value to here now uh, as i like created a method for uh, parent forget jobs so so here it's a uh, public public example result same result and then create create fire and forget job here and work it job and here uh, we decorate this as a uh, http get and here we provide the url like uh, fire and work it job then background job client dot enqueue here we are using the uh, enqueue for that and then using rai job service dot fire and forget job fire and forget job then we return as okay now i am creating a method for delete jobs so it's we change it here it's delete job yeah. and change it here like to create delete job and for delete we schedule this schedule and the year we choose a delete job and we need to also provide a time span for that so i am using time span dot uh, from second like it will execute after uh, 30 second so this will execute the job after uh, 30 second delete now i'm getting one more for uh, recurring jobs it's uh, recurring jobs so for recurring we use a uh, add or update so for recurring uh, we need to add a uh, one more variable for that it's a uh, private read only and uh, i recurring manager for that uh, recurring jobs and then for a recurring jobs manager recurring job manager and then then recurring job manager got here we take that uh, recurring job manager dot add or update and here we provide a job id so or it will like provide that job id and then let's we provide here a job then it's a job service dot recurring jobs and then here we provide a cron so it's a cron dot uh, like uh, this will execute the job after 1 minute so it here and then return okay now in dash time getting one more stop for that 
it's a continuation job so let's change it to continuation and create continuation job and then it's a continuation we we use this so background job so for first we take like a parent job id because this will execute the job uh, before completing one job and after that another job so it's a parent job id equal to equal to in here we enqueue the job like uh, enqueue the job for that i don't forget here no need to provide any seconds because this will execute uh, when we click uh, call that uh, API and then then background job time dot uh, continuation job with here we write a parent ID parent job ID and then and then it's a job service dot continuation job so now code is completed so now we run this application so by default this will opening the swagger here uh, this contained a different api that we created and in another tab we will open the hang file for the so this is the hang file uh that's so this contain this uh, laptop name for that uh, server thing and this contain a different types of uh, details here so first of all like i am creating this fire and forget job so click on execute so this will execute a succeeded and we can check this message hello from fire and forget job. now in next like this for delete job so click on this so you can check in schedule or oh, delete job with schedule so after 30 seconds uh, this will showing a message here now this for recurring job so click on this and the recurring jobs will show here it's recurring and you can also trigger this job by clicking this trigger now button so this will trigger so this will showing it here and you can check that hello from recurring job now uh, in next like this uh, continuation job so click on that and you can see in succeeded so continuation job and then parent fold means firstly this execute that and then after this you can check this message it here so this is the full scope for that uh, hang pair integration in esp.net world so you can modify this code according to your needs so if you have any questions any problems please don't forget to write this in comment box i will reply you soon and if you like my videos please don't forget to share this with your friends uh, and also click on subscribe button and for latest updates also click on notification bell so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session